remember I was a dental assistant when my kids were little and we had this 18 year old guy come in to do our sterilization. And I remember his name was Nathan and he was in a band and he came from, you know, a family and he was just real good. Just, just, you know, when you think of 18 year old in a band, you're thinking of drugs and all this stuff. No, this guy was, I mean, their band was, I think a little bit more Christian based, but, um, but he was just, he wasn't the kind that wanted to do that stuff. And I remember asking him because I knew my kids were going to be teenagers soon. And I was like, what did your, what did your parents do to, you know, how they're, how are they raising you to make it? So you're not doing drugs and drinking. Cause he didn't drink or do drugs or anything like that. And his answer was, you know, I don't know. He goes, they've just always had a lot of trust in, in me and my brothers. Mm. And that, that made, that was kind of impactful you know, being able to be trusted at a young age and, th and then learning how to trust yourself at a young age. Wow. Can you imagine? Yeah. <laughs> no, I can't. It's like, right. <laughs> like it's foreign, yeah. but I, I feel like, you know, it was something you said that made me think of that. Oh, when you realize that you're the adult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like why, why would you feel like an adult if you don't trust yourself? Right your decisions and and we have all this evidence that we collect in our lives that prove that we can't trust our decisions yeah. you know whether it's we get with an abusive partner we we walk out on a job or we do something to get fired on a job we do the wrong thing as a parent like we collect that information in our head that's a part of the you know the mind clutter that i like to help clear out of people is this evidence that okay yeah 